Hello, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems. Today I'd like to show you how to install the bypass tray for our Condi Ditrans GX7000 printer. This is our 7000 printer here, and this is the bypass tray and a few samples of paper. First thing we're going to do is turn the printer around so you can see the back of it. This is the GX7000 printer from the back. This is the duplex unit which will already be in place. Um, the printer does need to be turned off. You also need to disconnect your USB cable as it's going to be in the way, just for a brief moment. All right, this is the bypass tray. You can see the back of it, um, and it's actually quite simple. We're going to snap it in place, and you'll see it, it comes flush with the back of the printer. After we get the unit installed, we're going to turn the printer back around, and we're going to turn it on. Push and hold the power key. Printer is going to come up to ready. At that point, what we want to do is we're going to print a configuration page, which will let us know if the printer recognizes that the bypass tray has been installed. We'll push the menu key, push the down arrow key to list slash test print, then we'll push the enter key twice. It's a two-page report. The information we're after is on the first page. Okay, on this first page, what we're looking for is where we say connection device, and we're looking to just indicate that the bypass tray indeed is installed. Okay, you'll also see another indication of the bypass tray down here. This will tell us it, it's how it's set. It's set for plain paper and in what size. These things are not super important that we, we deal with. The main thing we're after is that the printer indeed knows that the bypass tray is installed. Now that our bypass tray is installed, we're ready to use it. There's two adjustments, the height and the width. The height is adjusted by pulling this out, adjusting this. I call this the backstop for the paper. And then we'll adjust the width that we need with this. And here's our paper. We're going to want to put the paper in it with the bright white side up, which is the print side. And we'll adjust our width. We don't want it real tight, but we want it put, uh, snug. And then our, our backstop holds the paper in place. The tray can also be used for the mug papers, which makes it very convenient. And then you just adjust it, and you've got a great second source for the mug paper or for the 13 by 19 paper. After you've got the tray installed, you've got your paper loaded, we'll need to head to the computer and we'll need to select the bypass tray and also select the paper source and the size. We'll right click on the printer, we're going to left click on printing preferences. All right, the, the icon down here shows you that the bypass tray is indeed installed. All right, so, so we're in good shape there. Um, our paper source is listed right here and we're going to do a pull down and we're going to choose the bypass tray. All right, so the icon again shows us what our paper source is. Um, next, we're going to go define the Condi 13 by 19 paper size in the driver. We click on the last tab, which is the printer configuration. We're going to go to custom paper sizes. We're going to go down here and, and you'll see paper source tray. Do a pull down there and choose the bypass tray. For the long edge, we're going to type in 19. For the short edge, we're going to type in 13, and then we're going to name the custom paper size Condi 13 by 19. Hit apply at the bottom here, then we'll go back to our setup tab. We choose our paper source as the bypass, page settings tab. We're going to do a pull down here, and we're going to go all the way towards the bottom and choose our Condi 13 by 19 paper. And so we're finished. So we've chosen the bypass tray as our paper source. It's showing our paper size here, and we're good to go. If you have any concerns or problems, please give us a call. This is David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you.